Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And, um, you know, I always uh, see comments of a lot of the viewers and users saying that Windows 11 is a failure. It's Vista. It's not um, really going to get anywhere. And, of course, one of the reasons I think Microsoft decided to do a big update to Windows 11 is to maintain Windows 11 for now and try to have it grow. But we've seen that in the last couple of months, Windows 11 has actually decreased. And that is kind of very interesting here for an operating system as we move on. Now, I found some interesting things that I wanted to compare with because um, the first name that a lot of people mention when they think of Windows 11 is Windows Vista. And Windows Vista is actually much better than most people give it credit for. The problem with Windows Vista was that at that time, too many machines were sold with barely the minimum requirements. And so people were getting Vista and found that it was really, really tough to have it working well. But in reality, if you had a lot of RAM and a decent, you know, powerful computer, it was running actually very well, and as well as Windows 7, actually. And Windows 7, we have to remember, is Windows Vista. It was just Windows Vista tweaked. So um, when we look at um, Windows Vista market share, Windows Vista achieved a market share of roughly 18%, and barely moved up to 20 and didn't even move up to 20. And this is about a year of uh, more than a year. It's uh, two years uh, here that we see from uh, January 27 to 2007 up to July of 2009. So from the release to two years, 32 months, actually, it says here at the, at the top, we were at 18%. Now, we got to say that Windows 11 is at 27. It beats Vista. It's 10% or at least 9% um, more than Vista ever achieved uh, and in roughly the same time frame. So in terms of acceptance, Windows 11 is more accepted than Windows Vista. And what happened with Vista also is there was a quick release of Windows 7. And the quick release of Windows 7 also hurt Vista because everybody moved on. Everybody heard, oh, Vista, that's that horrible operating system from Microsoft. So here we see 14 years ago, um, from August 2009 to July 2010, look how fast Windows 7 took off. And if we look here is that in a year, Windows 7 reached Vista at roughly 18, 17%. It was already starting to decline, actually, as Windows 7 was taking off. And you could see Windows 7 taking off really well. And it's interesting to see that at that time, in 2010, Windows XP went from about, you know, 72% to roughly 67, 66, 67%, uh, which is kind of a little bit like um, Windows 10 right now. But the difference from that time is that Windows 11 is really taking off slowly when, look at Windows 7, was like skyrocketing real fast. So Windows 7 took off and surpassed Vista in just a year. It's crazy when you think about it. So definitely these trends show us that um, Windows 11 is better than Vista in acceptance and will definitely continue to climb uh, in the next year, year and a half. As we move forward, um, it will always decline. It will continue growing. And we will have, you know, we'll at, at 24H2 and by the end of this year, I'm pretty sure we're more than 30% of, of Windows 11 acceptance. But it's interesting to compare all of these numbers and see which ones were really popular. We see XP up there. We see Windows 7 taking off like a rocket. Uh, it was very interesting. And Vista never taking off much. 
Um, and a lot of that problem has to do, once again, with the fact too many computers. And I was a tech guy when Vista came out. The amount of computers people bought that didn't have enough RAM memory, they were running Vista on two gigs of RAM. It's like, no, that's you, you wonder why it's slow? That's a big reason why it's slow. And, you know, people want to have proof. So I always had with me some RAM sticks that I could stick in any type of, of computer. And I'd boost that RAM to four gigabytes. And then you'd see there was a huge difference in performance and you could see it. So the Vista era is mostly because of the PCs sold that weren't powerful enough. And then came Windows 7, but with Windows 7, that mistake was not there. PCs were powerful and had more RAM. So Windows 7 looked fluid and looked fast. Uh, if you would have put the same, you know, slow uh, PC and, and, and not enough RAM to Windows 7, it would have run slow also. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.